Into the Dungeon by... Um, oh yeah, right, there's a little team name here. So, by Tian, Te, Te, Tian Banek, with uh, other help by these this gentleman and this other gentleman, unless they're ladies, in which case they're ladies, but I, I'm pretty sure this guy's a gentleman. I don't know. Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're playing Into the Dungeon Plus Plus, as part of the annual roguelike release party series that I'm doing. So, without further ado... Let us, let us uh, just go ahead and enter the dungeon plus plus. To move your character, press arrow key. Arrow. Oh, some of them. Okay. Or left mouse button in the direction you want to move. Skip turn with space or right attack. Just walk into it. Makes sense. There's a load button. Oh my god. That is, that is something. Ooh, it's Diablo-style health bar. Candle represents how much time you have left for this dungeon level. Um, below it is a book that tracks scrolls you have found. On the right is a potion that tells you potions. Man, that is just... That's kind of cute, actually, if I had to use a word to describe the interface. <laughs> it's, it's like a little quaint little thing going on over there. Anyway... Uh, upper right, or right upper, you can see stats, there they are. Uh, Minimap, green is your hero, blue is stairs, floor and doors, okay. Can I move diagonally? I cannot, okay. Oh wait, I'm not even... Oh, that's why, I was... I have to use arrow keys, like explicitly. Okay, no, that's fine. I just better than I know it that way. It's since I don't have diagonal movement, I can't think about it anyway. Um, but is there like a... Because what is this? I feel like I should be able to kind of attack that. Uh, I got my bad group, so... How do I... Oh, I guess I can wait. Oh, that's, a little, that's cool. That little animations there. But how do I make use of that? It says zero and one. Can I click on this for one? Question mark! Ah, jeez. Already I have don't know how to use these things over here. Because apparently they're not UI usable. Space is also rest. Standing on stairs to the next level. D to descend. Open your inventory with I to view your items. Okay, there we go. So, it just tells me what's there without necessarily giving me a understanding of what I have. You are standing on an item. Pick it up with enter or by clicking the character. All right. I think I'm just going to undead or immune to poison. Oh, these guys are little hint boxes. And your life still attacks won't work on them. Okie dokie. So we have a shield. It does what a shield does. Well, isn't that just handy dunky dory? Uh, press the, you want to view, use, or D to drop. Um, is shield an item? Or is it something that I equip? Hmm. I once hid from the monsters in a cardboard box. Alas, I lost my box in this dungeon. Oh, you silly solid snake reference, you. So. So I can't wait. <laughs> In a lot of games, waiting can mean the difference between taking a lot of damage and not taking a lot of damage. I don't know if it's... it's really a preference of the developer. So. There are riches here no man has seen before, though they have a low chance of spawning. I feel I really do feel like I should be equipping that, that one superness of mine. Oi. Well, you're both dead. Here's another shield, though. So, now I have two shields. And I don't feel bad about using one, I guess, now. Some extremely powerful creatures can absorb chain lightning spells. They still take damage, but it makes the chaining stop. Yeah, you say the same thing, guys. That's... That's really special. Nothing there. Right. Well, I got it. I got to check, just in case. What, did he, what was he saying? To, Dead people can't share tips. Perhaps dead souls can. Uh, are you a dead soul then? 
I guess. Oh, you, you can open your spell book with R. And I have a scroll of identify! Truly, no game that has unidentified items is complete without an identify scroll. Or some means of identification. That's always a really cool way to, to, to make a game, is to change up the identification system. Most games just make it so that, oh, you have a bunch of unidentified stuff, and you either use an identify scroll to figure out what it is, use it itself, or have a number of quirky little, um, okay, I'll try to disarm it. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, or have a number of different quirky ways to, to identify things. But you can do other methods. In fact, I believe, and I don't know if I've ever, I've mentioned this a very long time ago, but there's a little roguelike radio which has, I'm almost positive they have an entire uh, podcast dedicated to, to a roguelike, yeah, let's kill this guy first. Who? You're a little nasty, aren't you? Let's go ahead and use this shield. Oh, okay, now it's equipped. Great. This is great. <clears throat> Another scroll of identify. No? Your health is low. Oh no, my health is low. What did I pick up? Picked up a ring. I have a spike trap? It's not that... It's not that one ring. Eh. Hardy, hardy, hard. Uh, yeah, let's identify the ring. Yes, please. Did I do it? Did it work? Hold on. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know if I did it. Okay, four. You scroll on ring. Yes. Or perhaps I just have to simply press enter? Hold on. Doesn't seem to want to do anything. Well, at least I killed you easy. Easy peasy pleasy. You guys are dying without any trouble at all. Huh. Oh, you are a bit of a nasty here though, aren't you? How do I make this work? How do I make this work? Like, that, I don't know if that identified it. It doesn't seem to have, is what I'm trying to figure out here. Like, suppose I tried on this. Oh, see that worked. That just freaking worked. Um, so maybe the, uh, I don't know. Okay, I guess just, unless it says it's identified, it doesn't actually man do, like, do anything. So, I guess I'll just equip it, and that gives me extra health and I guess an extra attack point as well. So, huzzah for that. Look at that, I'm already, I am doing so much better than I was before. And why isn't that skeleton trying to, to, to attack me? Well, I gotta say, this is a this is a fun little... Sure. I guess I disarmed it. Oh, day. Your health is low. Ow. Am I still taking damage? I don't know. I felt like I was taking damage from a range there. Is there an enemy that can attack me from a range around here? I don't see one. I'm... To be quite honest, I'm hoping that I level up so that I don't have to spend health potions. One must remember that in a game where leveling up gives you all your health back, you should consider such level ups as almost a resource, which can be used as a means for healing rather than other forms of healing. Ho ho! Let's go ahead and take a year look at your elf boots, which are in fact considered unidentified. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't know if this is the kind of game that has issues regarding cursed stuff. So, until then, I'm going to have to treat a lot of things with the possibility that cursing is possible. Because the game didn't mention anything about it. And I think it's entirely up to me on whether or not 
I figure such things out. So I just noticed the XP up at the top right, uh, the right upper corner, excuse me. That's a, oh, ow. That could have been bad. But it wasn't bad. Trolls give 200, skellies give 100. Nothing fancy about that. Looks like armor increases my chance of not getting hurt at all. And you are a Kaidarin amulet, which is perfectly identified, so just equip you. You get a full. Yeah, let's try. I mean, is there any reason not to try to disarm the trap? Ah, there's a guy I haven't seen in a while. Have you seen Thunderbirds? I heard their attacks can shock you in place. Well, I heard that their intro is amazing, but the rest of the series is kind of, well, poorly animated and uh, features a really creepy sidekick. So. Well, you can't win them all, after all. This is a nice change of easy pace from forays, and but I do apologize from where am oh there we go. I do apologize that that the forays kind of ended poorly simply by me not. I guess no, I just I don't know. I'm taking damage though. I'm telling you this only because rarefied horse meat made me do it. What? Okay, well, I'll just move on. And holy crap, yes, I just kind of noticed the fact that there's a map. I mean, I, there's always been a map, but... Enchant attack. Oh, so it, it boosts the attack. Ooh, crapskies, you have a ranged attack that can hit in more than one direction. I'm so glad that everything keeps missing you. You're worth 400 experience. Very nice. Yeah, you can probably hit me from there. I'm really lucky to, that you keep missing like that. Either that or I have really good armor at this point in the game. That is, mul Those are multiple possibilities. My candle burned out. That's corruption got me. What is this, Adon? Freaking corruption. There is no limit to your method of turning me into a blob, is there? Again, with the rarefied horse meat. I must find the problem of this rarefied horse meat and cure the land of it, thereby ridding all evil from traces. There are riches here, no man, though they have a low chance, yes. <clears throat> I have heard you advice number five. Uh, is that downstairs? It's, that's that's stairs. I mean, I'll try. It's. I can't understand why I would not want to disarm a trap. If anybody has any any hints on that, let me know. All right, coolie beans. This game is running at 192 FPS, by the way, but you're only seeing it in 29.97. So. Uh, this was hold. Sold in 300 copies. Oh, you. Man, this game just does not cease with the references. It's not bad. It's just... It's just... I don't know. It's... 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 This is exactly what it is. Dead people can't share tips, and so will I. And so we're just an annihilating things here. Well, I gotta admit, this game has super nice atmosphere. Uh... I mean, technically the combat's a bit lacking, mostly because it's just me running around killing stuff that I have yet to have any problems actually fighting. Uh, but other than that, it's still pretty cool. So I still don't have any issue holding stuff. Oh, there is a next page and a and such. So yeah, it's right, it's right there. So and then now we just go ahead and pick up this guy and use that. So I think I'm fully equipped, more or less, other than perhaps a weapon. Yeah, you're going to be a problem. There we go. And then we go in. Alright. Look at that damage. Super damage for a super maestro. Like myself. Trolls. More like Rick Rolls into Oblivion. Uh, I'm working on it, okay? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting super lucky with uh, 
with my armor, but I can't say that this... Are those... Those must be Thunderbirds. Yeah, those are Thunderbirds. Ho! Oh. Um, but this game has become trivi trivially easy at the moment. Especially from the whole... The only thing that has hurt me in the past floor or two is a trap. So... So yeah. So yeah. And what we got spells here. Fireball scroll. That's cute. Liking that idea. So we got another amulet. Not as good as the one I have. Can I drop? Yeah, I can drop stuff, right? Because I don't really want that. So, yes. Oh, that shield looks better than the shield I have now. It's a Kite shield. Except, it's totally not that good at all. Uh, hold on, hold on. Sh shield 2. No, 2. There we go. 1. So let's drop you. And also drop the kite shield. So you can have more than one item on a single area. Okay. Oh, crap! You know what I realized? The corruption is your real enemy here. Is the candle. I just... I just realized the whole prob the the dealio with this game, and it's making sure you get out of here before corruption corrupts you entirely. I, I probably shouldn't be going after every last little thing in this game. Uh, so let's we'll pick that up. Okay. So that yeah, the candle rises again, but you have to be a little careful. Oh my goodness, you're a boss. Well then, all right. So I picked up a great potion. Gives even more health than health itself. But let's go ahead and pick up stuff. This is bone ring. Bone ring? Whose bone is that? It's uh, the, the foot bone connected to the dry bone, right? Uh, so equip you. All right. Yeah, you're gonna do attacks. But at least picking up stuff doesn't take time. Woodland boots, not better than what I have. I think I'm just gonna try to get near you. And fireball scroll. Foosh, 50 damage. Oh, you're spawning, aren't you? And um, summoning lava bursts. Okay, well, oh, darn it. Is he dead? I can't tell. I think he's dead. It's kind of curious that it looks like his corpse didn't actually appear and just kind of died falling. Oh wait, no. That's definitely corpseness. Alright. I just pick up the items and I'll take a look at them in a sec. Once I finish up. Okie dokie. So ki moki play. Let's see what we got. Bionic? Grants poison immunity. Oh, that's incredibly awesome. And we got a we finally finally have an actual weapon that we're using instead of just slashing with our fingers. There's like a, a karate move that does that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we can get rid of that ring, get rid of those. Um I think that's it. The spike trap, yeah. I guess I can drop traps, but eh. So was that? No, that wasn't it. So we're still playing. Okay, we're still playing. Now th this game has provided me... At oh, ooh, an enemy that can hurt. Okay. Congratulations, GH. You finally found a, uh, a difficulty in this game. Nah, I think I'll just let it go. Ooh, more damage. <laughs> Even more damage. Lots of Thunderbirds, though. Thunderbirds that take... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How are you causing that kind of damage, you? Ooh, crapskies. Okay, well, at least you died, and I'm still alive. So, great potion it is. There's no easy way to get to you guys, is there? Oof. 
Yeah. Oh, but you decided not to go after me, so... That's a potion. Ah, I need to remember that I can just push buttons and it, it tells me, so... There we go. So, yes, I was being rather stupid back there. Yes, I was. <sighs> There's no easy way to go after you, though. And you're just gonna sit there and forever and ever until the end of time deal. deal. <sighs> yeah, that's not working, and... Dang! Thou have died. Thou ought to press enter and restart thy adventure. Hmm. Okay. Well. To be honest, no, that was a that was a good check of the game. How do I how did I how do I leave again? R no. In other words, S for save and quit. I guess we'll just and then it just, it just leaves you. Okay, well, anyway, this has been Game Hunter checking out Into the Dungeon Plus Plus. Join me next time when we take a look at another game in the annual Roguelike Release Party group series members. Um, I thought that game was cool, and it looks like it actually does provide challenge after a point, so good. Although it seems like it's a surprising leap. That could just be my luck with equipment until then, though. So Check it out. Check it out. If nothing else, for the atmosphere and just the nicety of the immersion. So, Until next time, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.